Okay, let's talk about pulleys. Uh, I've got a document here with a couple of uh, pulley systems on here. First one is uh, a pulley system with one cable, and the challenge would be when you pull out on cable A, how much does uh, block B move up? So we want the ratio of the displacement speeds and velocities. First of all, you want to try and get rid of junk that doesn't affect the problem. So if I pull the end of cable A out two inches, this cable is going to go down two inches. So this pulley here at C is uh, basically trivial. So we can get rid of that. Hopefully I can get rid of it without getting rid of a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, so I will redraw the cable going around there and up there and down. Okay, so now that's going to be point A. Next step is to try to find a fixed reference location. I could go up here, um, or I could go to here, call that the datum. I may as well go there because the distance from that datum up to the top there, what's going on there? There's a length of cable here that's not interesting. It never changes. There is a fixed length of this little mounting bracket that doesn't do anything. So I'll go with that datum level. So I want a fixed level. I suppose I could even probably go down to here because then I've got you know, this pulley doesn't move up or down so this distance is fixed and that distance is fixed and this distance is fixed so let me do that. So as long as your datum level is fixed I won't say you can't go wrong but you know you should be able to solve the problem now, what moves here? B moves, but as B moves, so moves the center of this pulley. So I want to define the position from my reference down to there. I'll call that SB. And uh, point A, the free end of the cable moves, so I'll define a position coordinate SA down to there. And now I want the length of the cable. The length of the cable has three parts. There is an SA, there is an SB, and there's another SB, plus a little constant arc here, uh, but we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so the length is equal to SA plus two SBs, and when you differentiate that with respect to time, the length stays constant, and zero is equal to VA plus two VB, and zero is also equal to acceleration of A plus two acceleration of B. Now, what if I were to choose a seemingly more ridiculous reference level? Let me define a datum here. It doesn't really correspond with anything physical, but I'm going to say this is a fixed line. And now let me cut my cable once again like I did before right here. So that'll be point A. All right. Now what uh, interesting things move on this cable? Well, point A is going to be moving, let's say, downward. Uh, whether it moves up or down, there is the position of A with respect to my datum. Again, I don't really need to go up to the block. I can go up to the center of this pulley because, well, as the pulley moves, so moves the block. So SB will be up to there. Okay, now how do I get the length of the cable? Um, well, let's see. If I make a cut, if I make another line through here. Um, the distance from my datum up to that line, I'll call that h. And that's a constant distance. So I can express the various cable lengths in terms of that constant h and sb and sa. So I have a length here. That's going to be h minus sb. That's h minus sb. And that's H minus SA. 
So let's see what happens when we express the length that way. So length is going to be h minus sb plus another h minus sb plus an h minus sa. So that's three h's minus two sb's minus an sa. If I differentiate both sides with respect to time, I get zero equals. H is constant, so that goes to zero when I differentiate, and I get minus 2VB minus VA. Okay, so I still get that 2 to 1 ratio, and the, the two results are identical. So any fixed reference line will do. If you have a pulley like this pulley C over here, get rid of it and try to make your pulley system have all its cables in the vertical direction or the horizontal direction if everything is horizontal. So now let's go down to this one which is a little bit trickier. In this problem we have two cables. Here is one cable and the other cable is wrapping around like that. So now we have two separate cables which will have two separate tensions. Uh, let's see, a good reference datum line for this one. Um, I got a fixed ceiling here. I've got a fixed distance down this cable. Uh, I should be able to make a cut here, similar to the first approach I took to the previous problem. And uh, now, how does, how does this all work? I suppose that as you pull down on A, pulley C will move down and pulley E will move up. It's tricky sometimes to visualize how these things work. Anyway, uh, don't assume that A moves downward with the same velocity as C because pulley C is free to move upward. And because pulley C is free to move upward or downward, I'm going to give it its very own position coordinate. And I'm going to give the end of the cable SA its very own position coordinate. And I'm going to go down to something that moves with B. And now I have to try to express the length of each cable in terms of those parameters. All right. So what I'll call the blue cable. And if you print this out in black and white, it's that one. Okay, length equals constant stuff plus. Uh, let's see here. We've got an SC. Get my highlighter. We've got an SC there. And we've got an SB here. And that should be about it. Okay. So the length. Whoops, give me my pen back here. So the length is going to be SC plus SB. And if I differentiate that, then zero is going to be VC plus VB. All right, so C and B move opposite to each other. And I suppose that makes sense now if you go back and look at that original blue cable. All right, now we're, we would be interested in this problem in relating the motion of A to the motion of B. So let's consider the other cable. And now we'll talk about the orange cable. My wife says I'm colorblind. I know this is not orange I'm using, but you all are going to be printing this out later. So that orange cable, what makes up its length? We have... Uh, we have SA minus SC. Okay, so we have SA minus SC. We have SB minus SC. And we have an SB. Let me see if I can remember that. Okay. We have an SA minus SC. We have SB minus SC. 
SB minus SC, and we have an SB. And when we differentiate that with respect to time, 0 is going to be equal to SA minus 2SC plus 2SB. Now let's go back and ask ourselves what are we trying to find here? We're trying to relate. Oops, sorry, when I differentiated that, those should have been V's. Sorry, VA, VC, VB. We're trying to relate the motion of A and B. So I need to eliminate VC here. And I can do that by making a substitution. Okay. So I'll go down here and I'll say 0 is equal to VA minus 2. VC is minus VB. And then I've got two more VBs. And I end up with velocity of A is equal to minus 4VB. So in this problem, we had two separate cables. And we had to express the length of each cable in terms of the position coordinates. And we basically had to use one equation substituted into the other to relate the two specific coordinates SA and SB that would be uh, of interest in this problem. I hope this clears it up a little bit and this document will be posted. Thank you, good night.